Today's date is March the 26th, 2018. And I want to make this statement of an incident that occurred on May 15, 2015, in which a guy came up behind my SUV and parked and was staring at me for a few minutes. I heard a door open. I looked. I was busy at the beginning on my computer typing up a letter on my laptop. And then my computer was in the passenger seat and I was pointed towards the passenger window. So I could not see the guy unless I looked out the mirror on the driver's side. Because he had parked there and was staring. It was really, really creepy. I looked back and I seen his face. And I'm telling you, that face was a face of God knows the devil himself. This guy had a sick problem. Also, I cranked up and drove off and went around him to go out. And I stopped and asked him, why did he do that? Why did he pull behind me and stare at me like that? I was scared because when that door opened, he could have came up and stabbed me to death. As I had my back to the driver when the, I shot me and got away with it. It was really, really creepy. And I'm telling you, looking at the MO of the alleged Seminole Heist killer, this guy is with all those things that the guy did, only he was in a car, but he was going to get out and come to my door, driver's door. And he scared the living hell out of me. He chased me for approximately four and a half to five miles. So I ran up to a deputy. At the Tampa dog train. And I told the deputy what he had did. And things that he had said. To me as I was driving. Scared the daylights out of me. He raised his hand. And showed the deputy some type of. Item in his hand. That looked like a, a badge or a star. From the sheriff office. And I took a picture of it. He also had. Some camera shades on. Secret spy shades and there's a picture a close up of it and you can see the knob on the frame there and you can see the hole right there the dot where the camera was and this guy was a sick puppy like I said he fit the ammo back then only difference he was in the car let's take another look at a close up a color photo and right there you can see it there go the knob and there go the little dot this guy was something else. You can see right there, that looked like an upside down sheriff star on the star there, on his thumb. And also, you can see right there with they clean, there was a military ID, this portion right here. This big square with the blank there is a military ID. I went to Mike the Air Force Base ID section and they say that is not any type of military ID. But it does fit. Everything on that finger fits the mold of a sheriff star. But according to the corporatists, the guy said, the, cor the deputy that was there said that it was a military ID. Well, what about the mirror shades? The glasses, I'm sorry. The glasses that he had on had on spy shades with a camera on it. I tell anybody to beware. I don't care if they call you paranoid. This is to the people that got killed. Possibly they could have been saved. I don't know. I'm not trying to discredit them. But if they were paranoid or hypervigilance, they have been aware of their surroundings and seen that fool coming and run away from him. And it wouldn't happen. At least that's my take. But I can't blame them. They weren't expecting nothing just like me when they got pulled up. But it could be a connection. There's no guarantee. That because they got the video of somebody walking and claiming it's the serial killer for Seminole Heights. That's not true. They're going to put him at the scene. And I'm going to tell me about no weapon about it match up. My phone is cloned right now. My computer was cloned. And they see everything and listen to everything. So I don't buy that. Somebody need to look into it. Anyway, that's my take. And I just wanted to get it out there because it's important.